happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i have a collaboration video this collab has been in the works for months and i'm excited to be collaborating with one of my nail sisters i'm a huge fan of her work and it's my girl nene's nail nook um, she has such a creative mind when it comes to nail art and i love her determination to make a set complete and all her own she makes some bomb press on nails and is super talented i am going to leave her youtube and her instagram channel linked in the description box below so make sure you go over and show her some love show her some support and let her know that rose sent you so for this set i am going to be going in with my base coat and white gel polish and blanc from mccart i am also going to be going in with my top coat from pretty diva my winter white which is a milky white from i gel beauty really beautiful color my red gel liner brush from double dip bella vena 941 from Beatles which is a pretty brown gel polish I do have a stamping plate that has some fruit on it um, and my three mission control paints I'll be going in with is fizz clutch and overdrive also have these really cute kawaii charms that are like ice cream slash cake themed and then y'all know my sets ain't complete without some bling so I do have a couple of bling boxes that I'm planning on putting to use so yeah y'all let's go ahead and hop into this look so in honor of Nene and her press on nail business, I decided to make a press on nail set for this collab. I am going in with my base coat from McCart and I'm coating all of the nails with a thin layer of base coat and that's just to prevent any peeling from my press on nails. Um, the shape I'm using is long stiletto. Yeah y'all, before our collab we decided to do the theme of ice cream slash summertime nails and I had a lot of fun coming up with my design for this set. After the nails have been cured for 60 seconds, I am going to go in with my McCart White and Blanc as well as the 941 from Beatles and I'm going to put the white on the index and ring finger and the brown on the middle and pinky. This is what two coats of polish looks like. I'm going to go in with a matte top coat on both my pinky and my um, index finger but I was watching Votino he's a really talented nail artist on Instagram and he recommended putting down a matte top coat whenever you're going to be going in with freehand nail art so I decided to give that a try and spoiler alert it worked beautifully so that is a great hack if you all are needing to draw freehand nail art definitely go in with a matte top coat first these are all the brushes I'll be using for my nail art I'm going in with my 201 liner from Joss Love and Winter White from iGel Beauty and I'm mixing these two colors together to make a nice kind of milky kind of strawberry shakeish type color. Next I'm going in with Clutch from Young Nails and y'all this is an absolutely beautiful brown color very chocolatey and I'll be going in with that and the milky white mixing that up to make a milk chocolate color and really quick I just wanted to insert a clip of how I store my Young Nails Mission Control paints. These are my clear acrylic drawers that I got from Dollar Tree. So this is what the two colors look like after they've been mixed. They're perfect. Now I'm going in with my Young Nails liner brush on the middle nail here to draw some swirls. And I thought it was pretty interesting that the gel polish color I use is the same color as the Builder gel that I had on my nails. Anywho you guys, um, as I was going in to try and draw the swirls on the nail, I realized that my liner brush had gotten cured. I typically keep a little bit of gel in the bristles just to keep it ready for the next use but I guess at some point it got cured and I ain't gonna lie I'm pretty devastated I cursed a little bit when I found this out so if anybody has any tips on how to repair that please let me know I'm really sad because this is my second young nails brush that I've had to lay to rest and man I'm sad because I really like these brushes and they are not cheap now I'm trying to go in with my Joss Love liner brush and I'm realizing that the brush is just too thin so then I end up going in with a liner brush that I got from Shein a while ago and that one was better but the color wasn't opaque enough so I did go in my, with my Young Nails Fizz. I ended up um, mixing it with that pink and that brown color and it gave me the opacity I was looking for. Um, and my Young Nails gel paints, they never let me down. And now I'm gonna go in and try to draw these swirls again. It was a struggle and a half with this nail, y'all. It took me about an hour to do this nail and it was so funny because I actually thought this would be the quickest nail and it actually ended up taking me the longest to do. But yeah, the opacity of this color and the gel liner was the exact perfect combination I was looking for. I am going to insert a inspo pick um, that I found on Google um, and this is what I'm using as my guide as I draw this particular nail.
So when drawing a swirl design, you'll just wanna go, you wanna take your liner brush and go from one edge of the nail and kind of make a really loose S in a sense um, and carry it down to the other edge of the nail. And the concept for this nail came from, um, you, you all know how there's like that strawberry swirl ice cream or chocolate swirl ice cream. Um, that's what that reminded me of. And so I wanted to incorporate that into the look. As you make any mistakes, make sure you go in with a liner brush with alcohol just to kind of clean it up and help crispen up the lines um, and after every line I drew I did cure for about 10 seconds to ensure I didn't mess up the lines that I was satisfied with and so yeah I'm gonna finish drawing up this design next I'm gonna go in with the pinky nail and create a waffle cone design as I'm drawing this waffle cone and my camera jumps out of focus I want to show you all Nene's beautiful ice cream set do y'all see how realistic these ice creams look like the scoops are real the drizzle is real the cherry on top is just beautiful like i feel like i could eat this set through my screen like she did a fantabulous job with her set again if you all have not checked her out you definitely should i am going to leave the full tutorial of how she created her look linked down in the description box make sure you guys head over to her channel and check it out so to draw the waffle cones i just did four diagonal lines going to the left and then crisscrossing four diagonal lines going to the right and y'all i was very impressed that i was able to get this on the first try i was floored at how good that turned out and so now i'm going in and drawing the drizzle i'm going in with my dotting tool then i'm drawing three dots where i want the drop to go after the drops are completed i start drawing kind of a thick line i'm um, going down from each individual drip um, and then at the top i went ahead and started filling in the nail just so that as i was drawing the lines um, from the, the drops it would um, kind of connect and be a little bit more round if that makes sense and then make it look a little more realistic as if the drips are actually coming from the ice cream. So I did want to insert an inspo pick um, of what I used as a guide to help me bring this lovely waffle cone to life. I'm going to go ahead and let you all finish up watching me draw this and I'll be back shortly. And y'all, I am loving how this turned out. It was absolutely perfect. So now I'm gonna go in with a few of my Joss Love liners. And I wanna create some sprinkles on the ice cream cones. So when working with gel liners, it's important to make sure you scrape all the extra product off of the stem of the brush. I normally scrape it until I can see the clear on the handle. And then just leave a small amount of product on the actual liner brush itself. Now I'm just going in and making really small strokes randomly on the ice cream part of the nail. I'm going in with a lavender purple, a yellow, a blue, blue and even a pink. And yeah y'all, this is what the final nail looked like and I am absolutely loving how it turned out. It it looks just like ice cream. I could lick it. Now I'm going to be going in with the ring finger and I'm going to be placing a charm on this nail. So I decided to go in with my clutch from Young Nails and do brown dots all over the entire nail um, and I did leave a little bit of space in the middle just so that I could put the charm in that space And yeah, this is how it turned out. I really liked how it looked, but honestly, I felt like that chocolate color that I mixed would look better with the color of the charm that I had. So I redid the nail with this lighter chocolate color and I feel like it matched perfectly with this beautiful, cute little fudge sickle charm I'm gonna be using. I'm going in with the Beatles rhinestone glue and applying a small dot to the middle of the nail. Now I'm going in with my Pretty Diva top coat and applying it to the entire nail. And I'm flipping it over for 10 seconds just to allow all of the gel to level out. And now I'm placing my charm right in the middle. And isn't she cute though? Oh my gosh, I'm in love. So yeah, that nail is done. This is how the set is looking overall. Now I'm going in with my index finger and applying my Beatles matte top coat all over. Now I'm going in with Overdrive and my micro detailer brush from Young Nails. This detailer brush was the one that frayed out. I'm just showing you guys an up close. I tried doing the hot water trick to repair my brush and it didn't work. So I've just been leaving builder gel in it to help keep the bristles together. And that's been working out pretty well. So for this nail, I decided to draw a chocolate milkshake with strawberry whipped cream on top. 
how delicious and yummy does that sound um so yeah when you're drawing the milkshake bottle um you'll just want to go in with a short curved line at the bottom two short strokes on either side of that and then two long curved lines going up um, both sides to create the actual bottle itself um, i did go ahead and go in with that milk chocolate color i mixed earlier and i filled in that glass with the chocolate milkshake i'm using my long liner brush and i'm just making just long end strokes um, to fill in the actual milkshake itself Y'all, this is making me so hungry right now as I'm watching myself do this. But um, yeah, I wanted to add in my inspo pick that I used as a guide when I was creating this set. Um, I absolutely loved that set that um, that artist created. And so I wanted to implement that milkshake into mines. After you finish filling in that milkshake, then you'll want to go ahead and draw three straight lines, leaving a little bit of space in between each line. And that's going to create the dimension and depth to make the milkshake glass look more realistic. Now I'm going in with this strawberry milkshake color and my large dotting tool. And I'm drawing circular motions with my dotting tool to create that strawberry whipped cream um, on the milkshake and I'm loving how it turned out. Um, after I finish that, I am gonna go in and line the whipped cream just to give it more detailing. And while I'm doing that, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you um, to everyone who sent out well wishes to both me and my family last week. Uh, my daughter is doing a lot better. She is on the mend. Um, she has her brace on for another week or so, but the pain has subdued substantially and my sister is doing well and on the road to quick recovery following her surgery i really appreciate you all um, sending all your well wishes your love your prayers and your support um, to make sure my family was good and healthy i really appreciate that a lot So this is what my chocolate strawberry milkshake looks like. It is looking yummy. Now it's time for the blingtivity, y'all. I'm gonna go in with these red rhinestones and that's gonna be the cherry on top to this awesome, awesome design. I did go in with a small dot of the Beatles rhinestone glue at the top of the milkshake. Then I'm gonna go in with a thin layer of top coat, flip it over for 10 seconds, then apply that cherry right on top. Mwah, shelf kiss. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. I'm going in now with my liner brush and drawing just a small stem to really bring that cherry to life. And after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. This is what the nail is looking like, super cute. Now I'm going in with my thumbnail and I decided for this nail to go in with um, multicolored polka dots. I went in with a thin layer of my McCart base coat. I went in with two layers of the white blanc from McCart. And then I'm going in now with my polka dots. So all of the colors that I use, throughout the set is what I'll be applying to this nail. And I feel like this nail just turned out super adorable. So this is what the finished nail looks like. Y'all, this set came together so nicely. Chocolate vibes are definitely in the air. Now I'm gonna go in and apply a top coat to both my middle and thumbnail. And after I finish this top coat, we are going to get into the finished look. This is how it looks after top coat has been applied. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply these press on nails to my actual nails. I'm gonna remove the sets that I have on now. I do have full tutorials for both of these looks. I will link them down in the description box below. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some cuticle oil. Y'all know I'm a little extra, so let's get into this finished look, okay? All right, you guys, ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how my chocolate ice cream set turned out. Like, she is so freaking adorable. It's the hand-drawn chocolate milkshake with the strawberry whipped cream on top, okay? 
Y'all know my sets ain't complete without charmtivity and blingtivity. And baby, that little bling cherry was the cherry on top, okay? I'm loving how this turned out. I do feel like um, when I changed out those polka dots to kind of match that chocolate fudge sickle, it turned out lovely. And y'all, this nail right here, this is also one of my favorites. I absolutely love how my little ice cream drip turned out. And I did keep that waffle cone matte to really make it feel lifelike. Do y'all want some ice cream? Because I'm ready for some ice cream. Baby, these nails are yummy. I mean, I this got me craving some ice cream right now. This is what my sketch looked like here. So I didn't know what I was gonna do for the thumb, but I feel like this little polka dot nail tied it in quite nicely. I'm gonna leave a picture of what her design looks like here on the screen. Yes, ain't it just yum doodle yumptious? Absolutely love this design. You knocked it out the park, Miss Nene. Again, if you all have not checked her out, you definitely should. She's super talented and really sweet. I am gonna leave her youtube channel as well as her instagram page link down in the description box below make sure you guys go over there follow her subscribe to her show her some love show her some support and make sure to tell her that rose sent you all i had a ton of fun doing this collab with nene's nail look so yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!